all welcome back to my channel I am Janani I hope you all are doing well today I'm gonna share the best of Suganda products that I've tried till now and a few products that didn't work for me like I'll be sharing in between but I've been uh, more focusing on the products that I loved using from the brand and I think you must try this out from the brand so without further delay let's get into the video but before that don't forget to click the red subscribe button and the bell icon so that you'll be notified when I upload new videos so without further delay let's get into the video let's speak about the products category wise first coming to cleanser and in the cleanser there's double cleansing right so there's oil cleansing and water based cleanser so the first product that i'm going to share about is the suganda squalene cleansing oil and this is how the packaging looks like the brand changed the overall packaging of all their products and this groot's noise is so so <laughs> terrible so this is a squalene cleansing oil it has squalene it has hemp and vitamin E which is so good for all skin types including oily acne prone skin and even sensitive skin can use it it is a beautiful lightweight oil cleanser which just removes all your SPF sunscreens and your makeup very well it doesn't remove a waterproof makeup that well like that completely but it's pretty pretty good and it's gentle for everyday use I will show you the texture can you see the texture guys so it's a very lightweight texture yeah and I have to wipe my hands now with the tissues I love this to use in my everyday routine I mean my PM routine because it's so lightweight it's so gentle it cleanses all, all of your sunscreens and makeup completely and thoroughly and it doesn't just tingle my sensitive eyes so that's a big plus in cleansing oils it retails for rupees uh, 550 and you get 50 ml of the product i've been using it for quite two to three months now and i've emptied just uh, a little more than half i would say because you would just need three to four pumps i would definitely rate it nine on ten the one point minus is because of it does not remove waterproof makeup that well but otherwise this is a total beautiful product now speaking about water blaze cleanser i love 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 this cleanser so so much i've been speaking about it in a lot of my videos including instagram videos as well because it is so good for all skin types and this is one of the first and my most favorite cleanser that my skin ever loved and that is the Sugandha's Centella Green Tea Face Wash and this is almost a third bottle that I'm gonna empty I guess it's great for all skin types it is so gentle for both AM and PM routine usage and it is so good for oily acne prone and sensitive skin as well it has Centella Green Tea Panthenol and Glycerin which is amazing for all skin types yeah this is a beautiful gel based cleanser and it cleanses out your skin thoroughly without drying it out it does not strip off your natural oils but it cleanses everything completely that's what i love 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 about this and it retails for rupees 700 for 120 or 115 ml i guess because little goes a long way and it definitely lasts you longer yeah this has been regular in my and staple in my routine and that's why i love it so much any skin type can definitely definitely use it i will completely rate it 10 on 10 and that's how much i love this beautiful cleanser so let me just show you the texture of it so this is how it looks like it's a very very gentle gel based cleanser it lathers quite well but it doesn't foams up so it is very gentle on your skin I also got to try another cleanser from Suganda, which is the Hydrating Oat PHA Cleanser. So this cleanser is a very creamy cleanser. I guess it is suitable for very dry to sensitive skin type. Even my mom had dry skin, but she didn't like it because it doesn't lather quite well and our skin doesn't uh, feel fresh after using it. That's why my mom also didn't like it. So I did not use it up that much. I try to incorporate it in my AM routine because in, during my AM routine, I always tend to use a very, very gentle cleanser on my face, even though I have oily skin, especially during winters. But this didn't work out for me as well because I and my mom, both of us felt a little warmth on our face whenever we massage with this cleanser. So that's why mm, not a product that I would recommend you to try, but definitely you can try if you have very dry, flaky and sensitive dehydrated skin 
can give this a try if it suits your face it's well and good yeah that's it about the cleanser category now let's move on to the summer special face mist category so suganda has only one face mist which is the hydrating mist it has saika peptide and panthenol which is oh my god one of the most calmest and soothing ingredient for your skin it is definitely hydrating and calming as they claim and it retails for rupees 595 and you get 100 ml of the product the spritz is so so smooth guys as you can see here can you see the spritz it's so smooth it's so even the skin will definitely thank you for every spritz of this beautiful mist this is great for all skin types and it is fragrance free yeah oh my god this one is so good this is a new launch from the brand and i got to try this product and i'm really thankful for that because during summers and for the oily sweaty acne prone skin this one was a savior for me and oh my god this is so beautiful i will definitely rate it 9.5 on 10 yes so beautiful now let's move on to one serum that i love using from suganda which is their suganda hyaluronic acid serum so this is their older packaging and recently they have changed the packaging to black and white which is very classic good looking and this is the older one this is also pretty good i like green packaging as well it's a cute mini bottle with 20 ml of product and it retails for rupees 5.99 yeah this hyaluronic acid is a different serum when compared to other brands hyaluronic acid from the texture to the ingredients to how it worked on my skin oh my god i emptied two bottles of hyaluronic acid serum it not only has hyaluronic acid serum it also has panthenol centella and colloidal oatmeal i don't know if i can show you the texture because it's an empty bottle but let me give it okay i have a very very little one can you see the texture guys Oh my god, this is a very uh, calming and soothing and it's so chill on your skin. Your skin feels like a little cooling when applied. This serum just hydrates and soothes and calms down your skin so well. And that's why I like it so much. And for the price and the performance of the product, you can definitely, definitely give it a try. One of my most favorite serums from the brand. And yeah, this is such a beauty in this, such a cute bottle. Um, yeah, I would definitely rate it 9.5 on 10. Yes, definitely do give it a try if you have dehydrated skin. Now I'm gonna speak about a moisturizer for my skin type which is oil acne prone skin and that is the Sugandha's White Lotus Moisturizer. So this is a beautiful lightweight gel based moisturizer which has 3% niacinamide, hyaluronic acid and panthenol. They have both scented and unscented version. I like their unscented version a lot. So this retails for rupees 750 rupees and you get 50 ml of the product. There's a pump packaging with it which I absolutely love and this is how the texture looks like. Can you see the beautiful gel lightweight texture and it leaves a beautiful matte finish on the skin after it just absorbs onto your skin it leaves a beautiful matte finish and it is so good for oily acne prone skin also if you are in need of a niacinamide for your skin and you are a beginner and you are afraid to use a separate niacinamide serum then this one is the one for you this has three percent niacinamide which is great for beginners yeah totally in love with this product this is the second bottle i've emptied one bottle i guess yeah i've emptied one bottle and this is a newer packaging of this bottle a good product i would definitely rate it 9 on 10 do give it a try if you have oily to combination acne prone skin now the moisturizer that i'm going to speak about is for normal to dry and sensitive skin and if you have damaged or impaired skin barrier and this moisturizer is going to be a blessing for you and that's the suganda squalene ceramide moisturizer during my winter season like during the last winter season my skin tend to get more flaky and dry around the nose or around the chin but this one was a savior during that time even though i had combination skin during winters due to the flakes and dryness of my skin i tried this moisturizer and oh my god i didn't ever believe that my dryness was just cured in within three to five days by using this moisturizer regularly this is a beautiful thick creamy moisturizer this is also an empty so i don't think i can show you the texture so this is half the texture looks like a beautiful creamy thick moisturizer 
It leaves a very subtle dewy finish to your skin. I like to use this moisturizer especially in my PM routine during winters and my mom absolutely loved it because she has dry skin and this was a real savior for her skin. I would again rate it uh, 8.5 on 10. The missing in the rating is just because of the packaging. Till this only you can dispense the product easily but at the end of the bottle it's not that easy to dispense the products so that's why the minus but otherwise it is so so good and it retails for rupees 1100 rupees for 50 ml you can say that it is steep in price but i would say it is definitely worth it you can definitely try it out if you have like a dry flaky skin and impaired skin barrier this is gonna help you out for sure do give it a try that's about the skincare. I have one lip care product to speak about that I recently tried. It's their Suganda Calendula Lip Balm. So this is how it looks like. This has a Calendula Nourishing Lip Balm. It has cocoa butter, calendula, sunflower oil, um, avocado oil, ohuba oil and tocopherol. It's a good uh, blend of ingredients in this and it retails for rupees 300 for 4 grams. It's a pretty decent lip balm I would say. So it's a transparent non-tinted lip balm and this is how it looks like. It's a pretty good height nourishing lip balm but it's so mattifying on skin when coming to lip balms i want it to be more nourishing and moisturizing to my lips and i love a little bit of glossy finish to it to my liking it's a pretty decent one but if you are into matte finish lip balms then this is the one for you you can give it a try it's a pretty good lip balm for the price you get yeah i would definitely rate it 7 on 10. I got to try a body care product from Suganda guys recently and I'm seriously in love with it. It is so so good. I did not expect that much from this brand in body care but this one impressed me a lot and that's the Suganda Lactic Acid Body Lotion. This body lotion is so... I usually don't take care of my hands and legs that much because body lotions tend to feel a little bit oily or greasy on my skin. I don't like that feeling but this one changed my body skin. It is so light in weight. So this Suganda Lactic Acid Body Lotion is a 2-in-1 exfoliating and moisturizing body lotion. It has 5% lactic acid, 2% niacinamide and calendula. You get, uh, it retails for rupees 650 and you get 200ml of the product which is such a big bottle and it does take months to complete. And this is such a beautiful product you guys. I will show you the texture of it. Can you see the texture? It is such a lightweight body lotion, such a milky lightweight body lotion. This is a pretty scented one, but I like the mild scent in it really. And I always use this in my PM routine because it has lactic acid, which is exfoliating for your skin. Can you see my skin guys? It is so moisturizing and nourished now after using the body lotion, but it isn't oily or greasy. It is so good. I love this feeling a lot and the mild scent from the body lotion is just so good. You can also opt for an unscented version. I haven't tried the unscented version because I'm in love with this scented version. It is so mild and it is so good. As it has niacinamide and lactic acid, it is good for your strawberry legs that you get after shaving your hands or legs. It also helps with your body pigmentation when you use it consistently. Yeah, this is a really a game changer in my body care routine. I'm in love, love, love with this. I would definitely rate it 9 on 10. Also, the pump packaging, it is so easy to use. Also, to mention a few products that did not work on my skin from Suganda was their AHA serum. I and my mom tried it, but unfortunately, it did not work for us. So, that's the product we have tried. And other serums, I haven't tried yet. If I try, I would definitely share it with you all in other part. Maybe if I got to try many more products or many more launches from Suganda, I would definitely do part two of it. And thank you, Suganda, for uh, sponsoring this video. They gave me the freedom to speak whatever I like about these products. And whatever i dislike about these products yeah thank you so much from the brand they were so kind enough for it and that's it guys i hope you found this video helpful if you do so don't forget to smash that like button comment down below if you like such kind of best of brand products or not what and also let me know what brand you want to see next and like best of dash brand you want to see next and don't forget to share it with your friends and family you can also check out my instagram page style to join for more skincare haircare and makeup content until next time bye